Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're looking at some additional issues that I've seen brought up in various comments, replies, and requests, but which I haven't already done videos on. Last time we talked about whether heaven is timeless, and this time, a topic I saw raised by someone online, whether our virtues are worthless in heaven. This person was raising issue with the whole idea of heaven by arguing that certain things about it sound good at first, but ultimately wouldn't make people happy. They said that in a perfect world, virtues would be meaningless because nobody would have problems that needed to be solved by them. No one would need to give generously because everyone would have what they need. No one would need to forgive because no one would cause any harm. No one would need courage in a world without danger, etc. Now, this is an interesting issue because it seems to be implying that the troubles of earth are actually the reason why virtues have worth. However, there are at least two big reasons not to think this. The first is that even if a virtuous act produces no real fruits, and even if no one appreciates it, it's still a virtuous act. For example, let's say that I see someone in ragged clothes sitting in the middle of a sidewalk with a cup next to him, and I offer to let him have 20 bucks. However, he's actually not poor, just a hipster who likes to wear cheap clothes, and just finished his coffee. He doesn't benefit from the money I gave him, he might not even appreciate it. Maybe he'd even see it as an insult, though I don't intend it that way. However, my act is still a generous act, regardless of whether there was any need for it at all. Because of this, it makes sense to suppose that virtuous acts remain good things, even if they're not actually needed to overcome some serious problem. Now, the second reason for thinking that virtuous acts would still be worthwhile in heaven is that the value of our virtue doesn't come from the effect that it has on other people. That's a subjective way to look at virtue, as though other people give us value by being helped by us. That's wrong. Virtues have value because they make us more like God, and therefore closer to his moral perfection. In fact, one could argue that God is the only reason that virtues have any real value, since God is not only the source of all goodness and the actual standard by which all goodness is judged, but also the only judge who can be trusted to offer an entirely accurate and objective appraisal of any virtuous action. Here on earth, we don't have ready access to God's evaluation of the virtuous things we do. In heaven, that mystery is removed entirely, and instead of needing to content ourselves with doing a few minor things for a few people who may not even need or appreciate our help, we're made constantly aware of what the actual objective value of our actions is, so that we can appreciate virtue as God does. It's an objective worth, rather than a merely relative one, like the kind we perceive here on earth. I think that's a great deal more valuable. Next, is risk needed for thrills? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.